Hello and welcome to another episode of I'm in a different place every time I film, otherwise known as Technically Uncovered. I'm Zach and today we're taking a look at the iPhone 12 Pro. Starting things off, we've got new packaging on the iPhone 12 series of devices. The boxes are a lot thinner. They are beautiful, but the reason they're thinner is because they took out the power adapter and the inbox headphones, which means if this is your first phone, you're going to need to get a new power brick because this year's model ships with a USB-C to lightning power adapter for all phones, which a lot of people may not have a plug-in for yet. Of course, we've also got documentation that comes with a SIM tray removal tool, as well as the infamous Apple stickers. In the box itself, we've also got the phone, which feels a bit heavier this year, but the build quality feels more premium with the way they've got the bezel around the edges and the stainless steel just feels good to hold. Revealing the screen here, the most satisfying part, I can honestly say that the screen looks amazing even when it's off. You can tell that the bezels are smaller and again, just feels like a more premium and upgraded phone. So right off the bat, you'll notice there's really nothing different just here in the phone itself. Where some of the fun comes in is Say for instance, like the camera has some upgrades to it. The camera also has a LiDAR next to it. That's a little flash and you see right there. My understanding would be a good application that would be able to use LiDAR pretty effectively would be the measure application where we can go ahead and get a quick measurement in there. Now this is something that's not necessarily new, but it's probably more accurate than we've seen before. Now, I'm not too concerned about running benchmark tests because there are plenty of other people doing that. In fact, I watched one from Austin Evans yesterday that was really interesting. But what I am interested in taking a look at is 5G performance. So the iPhone 12 Pro now supports 5G where other phones prior to it were all LTE based. So let's go ahead and run a quick speed test. Now I should note that obviously there's a lot of factors that go into testing speed. In this case, I'm on 5G in an area that I'm surprised even has 5G coverage. Then again, Verizon was talking about their nationwide 5G, but at four megabits per second, I'm not sure that that's really quite 5G performance. And I think that it could do better. So is it technically connected to 5G? Yes. Is it what I want to see? Not really. So we're going to end the video with a quick side-by-side -side camera comparison. As you can see here on the left, we've got the iPhone 12 Pro, and on the right, the iPhone 11 Pro. Looks like the color and the detail and the exposure settings in the 12 Pro look a little crisper, a little nicer than the 11. Same goes for the side-by-side -side video comparison the same effect where there's a little bit more Christmas coming from the 12 Pro. And finally, probably the most fun test is a quick slow motion test. I personally don't see a big difference between these two. I think maybe the 12 looks just a little bit brighter, but I think that's messing with my mind just a little bit. Um, you know, it's kind of up in the air on that one. So guys, there you have it. A quick overview of the iPhone 12 Pro. I really like it, but the question is, is it worth the upgrade? It depends on what phone you're coming from. In terms of iPhones, I'd say if you have a 10, 10S, or 11 series phone, probably not necessary for most people to get the upgrade unless something like LiDAR or 5G is something you absolutely need. But if you're coming from an 8, 7, or below, it's probably well worth the upgrade for you. The phone is fast. It is a good-looking phone. I love how they kind of brought back that iPhone 5 feel to it. And I like the phone. So do with that information what you will. If you have any questions about the phone, feel free to ask them in the comments below. 
and I will see you guys in the next one.